Can you imagine meeting Emperor Elagabalus, a figure so astonishing that his reign during the late 2nd century AD defies belief? With his unconventional customs, extravagant lifestyle, and bizarre beliefs, he is a captivating enigma in the history of Rome. Prepare to be spellbound as we unravel the weird history of this extraordinary emperor's life. So go ahead, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more crazy history content. And now, on Histories Untold, the craziest Roman emperor ever, Elagabalus. Roman history offers a treasure trove of captivating and often peculiar tales. And within this rich tapestry, Emperor Elagabalus, also known as Heliogabalus, stands as one of its most eccentric figures. He reigned during the late 2nd century AD, and his life was a whirlwind of unconventional customs, hygiene practices, medical beliefs, rituals, and an extravagant lifestyle. Elagabalus's unwavering devotion to the sun god, Elagabalus, was not a passing fancy. It was a central facet of his reign. The emperor firmly believed the sun god to be the most potent and highest-ranking deity of them all. His commitment to this solar deity was so profound that he brought the sacred stone to Rome, where he constructed an immense temple atop the prestigious Palatine Hill to house it. This act alone was highly unusual, as foreign deities rarely received such prominence in the Roman pantheon. What truly astonished those around him was the emperor's active involvement in the religious ceremonies dedicated to the deity Elagabalus. He did not merely oversee these rituals, he participated participated in them with unparalleled zeal. Elagabalus took on the role of a high priestess during these events, donning attire traditionally reserved for women in such roles. This unorthodox cross-dressing was a remarkable departure from the rigid gender roles and social norms of Roman society, causing a sensation in the city and drawing the attention of the conservative elite. The pinnacle of his devotion to the sun god was his marriage to a vestal virgin named Aquilia Severa. Vestal virgins held an esteemed position in Roman society as guardians of the sacred flame of Vesta, and their chastity was sacrosanct. Marrying a Vestal virgin was considered a grave offense, punishable by death for both parties involved. By taking Severa as his wife, he not only scandalized Roman society but also openly defied deeply ingrained religious norms and traditions. The emperor was notorious for his insatiable appetite for luxury and extravagance, particularly when it came to dining. His feasts were legendary for their excess and peculiarity, showcasing a culinary indulgence that defied the norms of his time. One of the most astonishing aspects of his dining extravagance was his choice of exotic and often bizarre dishes. He would regularly feast on delicacies that would make even the most adventurous eaters today raise an eyebrow. For instance, ostrich brains and flamingo tongues were considered rare and exotic dishes during his reign, and he relished them with gusto. What truly set him apart from his contemporaries was his habit of incorporating precious materials into his food presentations. He would order his chefs to create dishes adorned with pearls and precious stones, transforming his meals into works of art. Plates made of pure gold would be used to serve these lavish creations, creating a stunning visual spectacle. Guests were astounded not only by the flavors, but also by the sheer extravagance of these dining experiences. His obsession with fashion rivaled that of modern celebrities. He would change his clothes multiple times a day, donning robes made of the finest fabrics adorned with jewels and pearls. His extensive jewelry collection included massive earrings that cascaded down to his shoulders, diamond-studded necklaces that sparkled in the light, and rings adorning every finger, each bearing precious gemstones. These jewelry pieces were not mere accessories. They were reflections of his opulence and his determination to outshine everyone in his court. His fashion choices transcended the boundaries of traditional Roman attire. He often embraced garments inspired by the East, further setting him apart from his predecessors. His readiness to challenge societal norms and introduce new styles made him a trendsetter of his time, albeit in a highly unconventional and ostentatious manner. The emperor's pursuit of beauty extended to his hygiene practices, which were nothing short of bizarre and eccentric, even by the standards of his time. While some aspects of his routine were conventional, 
such as his daily bathing ritual, others were truly extraordinary. In his daily bathing ritual, he immersed himself in perfumed water filled with fragrant roses and exotic oils. This daily bath was a sensory experience meticulously designed to indulge his senses and maintain his royal image. However, the most shocking aspect of his beauty regimen was his belief in the rejuvenating properties of donkey urine. He was thoroughly convinced that bathing in or applying this unorthodox substance to his skin would result in a radiant and youthful complexion. This practice, while repulsive to many of his contemporaries, showcased his unwavering commitment to personal beauty and his readiness to embrace unconventional methods. Another facet of his beauty regimen involved smearing his face with a paste made from crushed pearls. Pearls were highly prized during his time, and using them as cosmetics was a luxury only a few could afford. Yet he spared no expense in his pursuit of physical beauty. The pearl paste served not only to enhance his complexion, but also to emphasize his opulence and uniqueness. The emperor's belief in unusual medical treatments was legendary. Among the most peculiar aspects of his medical regimen was his fascination with bloodletting ceremonies. This ancient practice, aimed at restoring balance and health by intentionally drawing blood from the body, was a regular part of his life. He believed fervently that these rituals held the key to prolonging his life. While bloodletting was a common medical treatment in ancient times, the extent to which he embraced it was extraordinary and revealed his unshakable faith in its efficacy. The emperor was an ardent follower of astrology and frequently sought advice from astrologers for medical guidance. These astrologers prescribed unconventional treatments that often relied on superstitions rather than scientific principles. For instance, he was advised to consume rare birds, believed to possess unique healing properties. This practice stemmed from the belief that by ingesting the essence of these exotic creatures, he could absorb their vitality and resilience. Another strange aspect of his medical beliefs was his reliance on wearing specific colors to ward off illness. Astrologers recommended particular colors based on his astrological chart, and he incorporated these hues into his clothing and surroundings. This superstition reflected a broader belief in the influence of celestial bodies bodies on human health, a notion that was not uncommon in ancient times. The emperor's lifestyle epitomized extravagance. He hosted lavish parties and orgies, often during broad daylight, and extended invitations to prominent senators and officials to partake in the festivities. These daytime orgies, held in the heart of Rome, were spectacles that left many in shock and awe. During these events, his extravagance knew no bounds. He spared no expense on entertainment, food, and drink, treating guests to sumptuous feasts featuring exotic dishes, rare wines, and the finest delicacies. Music, dance, and performances further heightened the atmosphere, creating an unforgettable experience for all who attended. What truly set him apart was his willingness to deplete the Roman treasury on these lavish entertainments and construction projects. He spared no expense when it came to his opulent lifestyle, often at the empire's financial expense. His construction projects included the Grand Temple of Elagabalus, erected on the Palatine Hill, along with other luxurious structures intended to glorify his reign. Emperor Elagabalus was undoubtedly one of the most eccentric and unconventional figures in Roman history. His bizarre customs, unorthodox hygiene practices, peculiar medical beliefs, extravagant rituals, and even his choice of pets continue to astonish and amuse modern readers. Though his reign was marked by extravagance and controversy, it provides a fascinating glimpse into the vibrant and occasionally bizarre world of ancient Rome. Thanks for tuning in on Histories Untold. If you enjoyed today's episode and want to journey further into the fascinating corners of history, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we unearth another incredible story. Until next time, keep questioning and keep exploring, because history is filled with stories that are just waiting to be told. See you in the next episode.